I want you guys to watch this entire video through because this video right here, it can be very inspiring. Take a seat, enjoy, and, and, and just watch this entire video. I'ma show you how to do this. The right foot up, uh, left foot Look, man. All right, look. I came downstairs. I was outside handling some things with my father. I came downstairs. My brother just made a reaction to this video, and he said, "Yo, Nihilus, you have to watch this. All right, I have to watch it. Have to. I have to watch it. So I figured, yo, I'm going to watch it. Duh." You feel me? Cause number one, Drake is like, Drake is probably one of my biggest inspirations as a person. Honestly speaking, this man has so much success that is, it's unimaginable from my perspective. I'm sure you guys watching this video probably can't even imagine the level of success that Drake has reached within this entire career. You feel me? So I'm pretty interested to see the inside of Drake's mansion. Now let me let me rephrase that. Inside of Drake's 100 million dollar mansion in toronto i'm sure he has other pieces of property i mean he's drake you feel me but a hundred million dollars for a mansion in toronto alone that seems pretty intriguing okay now in the tussie slide music video he gave us like a little quick run through it seemed like he went through his little uh awards room you feel me then he went to his living room even made a quick stop at the lobby of his crib he has a lobby in his crib Pool, backyard, all this extra shit. He lives in the embassy. I must say, Drake, you're the biggest inspiration thus far of my of my life. Okay. Um, Drake is really just that guy. So today we're gonna be getting into a reaction of Inside Drake's $100 million mansion tour in Toronto. Um Not much really needs to be said. So let's get into it, man. Drake is an artist who needs no introduction. Love him or hate him, he's one of the biggest recording artists in the world. Every single one of his five Love, albums love him or hate him. And he has an estimated net worth of $150 million. Why do you, why do you lie to him? $150 million? That seems a little low. Rapper that seems a little too low. Aubrey Graham seems a little too low. Extravagant purchases with his formidable means. But perhaps his biggest purchase of all time is a massive compound in Toronto. Today, we're looking inside Drake's Toronto mansion. Any Drake fans know that the 33-year-old Yo, okay. rapper we're looking at... Just take a look. Just take a look. Perhaps his biggest purchase of all time is a... Just look at this right here. Just take a look Perhaps at this right here. Perhaps his biggest purchase of all time is a massive... Look at this right here. That looks like a hotel. If, if no one told me that this was his house, that looks like a hotel, like, like, a, like, a, like a Holiday Inn. You got what I'm saying? This looks like a hotel, man. The compound it doesn't look like no house. Look at this. Small little guest house in the corner. Pool in it. I don't know, bro. This 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 man Drake is doing. He has a van in his backyard. How many people do you know with a van in their backyard? Today we're looking inside Drake's Toronto mansion. Come on, man. Any Drake fans know that the 33-year-old rapper hails from Toronto. T and he has plenty of hometown pride. So even though he has several homes. Look at this, bro. Several homes. What are you talking Including about? a massive estate in Look at this, bro. Los Angeles. The Toronto house is his primary residence. Look at this, bro. The area bro. is a lavish neighborhood set in North York, Toronto, lined with dazzling mansions owned by celebrities like Celine Dion or Robert Herjavec. Even Prince bought a home here back in 2001 after marrying Toronto native Manuela Testolini. Around the corner is the estate that was used as the home of Rachel McAdams' character in the 2004 movie Mean Girls. So he's just he's just living in luxury. He's just living around, you know what I mean? Money, Drake success, had big plans wealth. For the bridal path walk, yes, and he soon man, started he putting just, them in practice look, with his palatial 35,000 square foot mansion starting to take shape. 35,000, bro. Shower, he constantly kept fans up to date with the progress, sharing videos on Instagram of the construction work underway. The impressive property is valued at $100 million and sits on over two acres. Do you think, do you think you know the value of $100, 100 million dollars? Man, I was, I, was, I was telling people how... $100 million? Yeah, $100 million is a lot. But to Drake? Not really anything. 
It's like, uh, I just made a $25 million sign-off check. It's a quarter of a hundred mil. That's a fact. It's a quarter. Quarter of a hundred mil. Bro. One hundred and million. I don't, I don't, I don't, I don't know. I don't, I can't, I can never imagine what it's like to have a hundred million on standby just throwing a piece of property. I can never imagine. The features a special award. But I'm gonna get there soon, Drizzy. Custom OVO NBA regulation size basketball court. Damn. OVO is short for October's very own, the name of Drake's record label. I'm October, baby. The Raptors super fan posted a video of himself on Instagram in which he can be seen scoring a fadeaway jump shot from the extravagant top level down to the hoop below. His impressive athletic facility even attracted music producer DJ Khaled, 44, who visited his friend for a game in the OVO Center. When he's in more of a mood to relax... Yo, let me say something though real quick about DJ Khaled. DJ Khaled is my man, okay? Look, a lot of people try to play him like he's just some goofy dude speaking into a Snapchat camera. Nah, man, DJ Khaled, if you guys watch... If you guys watch like DJ Khaled interview videos or Drake interview videos, the, re the reason why I really like these guys is because of their mindset. You could tell that that they think different. Like aside from doing shit differently, they're thinking differently and they're executing they're executing things, executing plans that we that we can't even fathom. Like these they, like they're doing it differently. That's all that's all from their mindset. So DJ Khaled, don't sleep on him. Has a glamorous lounge don't that sleep features on him. a grand piano and a massive marble double-sided fireplace with rows of gray sofas and chairs for seating. In another video, he shows off one of his living areas, complete with plush gray furniture decorated with cushions and slick, shiny coffee tables. The expansive room is home to a roaring fireplace with a tall no, mirror. Doesn't this look oven, like? Huge doesn't that look like a lobby of a hotel, like the waiting area when you're about to check into a hotel room? You sit down on the couch, read a magazine. That's what that shit looks like, bro. Chandeliers scale the high ceilings, Look at and this. a grand piano sits in the corner of one of the rooms. His pad, which also includes an elevator, houses a large black and white marble island in the center of a modern kitchen that has plenty of room to entertain. The master bedroom area includes two dressing rooms and a steam room. There are four other bedrooms in the home. The outside of Drake's lavish new home looks more like a palace as the gated multi- Re Rephrase that. Rephrase that. It's the embassy. It's the OVO Embassy, not Palace. Million okay. Dollar Estate embassy. also features a 10-car garage and spacious driveway to house the Degrassi actor's expansive auto collection. In 2015, the music mogul purchased the two-acre property for $6.7 million and hired Canadian home designer and builder Ferris Rafali to make his custom home dreams come true. In order to maintain privacy and security, the city of Toronto granted special permission last September to their hometown hero. So this is what you were talking about. Whoa. You said I had to get like uh, city like a gates. like a city grant or something like that to maintain privacy. But his gates need to be twenty feet tall, and I'll put some electric wiring on that shit so no one's tempted. That's crazy, man. He had to yeah. go to the city of To to get approvals for his property, bro. Doing it differently is what I mean. Build fences that are twice as high as the permitted height. Drake has spent more than $1 million on 20-foot tall trees that go along the fences, so he fits in with the neighborhood, CTVN reported. As if this wasn't enough, Drake showed off his singing toilet during an Instagram Live video. The toilet plays relaxing ambient music while guests go about their business. A mansion wouldn't be complete without a bar or two, which... That bathroom alone is better than my room. That bathroom alone is better than my room. I'd rather sleep in the floor of that bathroom than my room. near his gigantic indoor pool. And if two isn't enough, he'll be having a third built to house chilled wine and champagne. Plus, the rapper added two saunas, a massage room, hot tub, piano room, screening room, and a gym to his humble abode. When Drake's good friend DJ Khaled stopped by the house, he was so impressed that he personally sent praise to the house's designer, stating, Amazing job. I want you to build my next estate. I've been thinking the name of the one we're going to build together because Embassy is incredible. Drake inspired Embassy. me on another level. I have more work to do. The mansion was designed by Ontario-based luxury home designer... DJ Khaled himself said Drake inspired me on another level. I have more work to do. Look, man. Look, man. Take this, take this video right here. If you if you made it up to this part in the video, take this video right here as inspiration, okay? I want you guys to watch this entire video through because this video right here, it can be very inspiring. Take a seat, enjoy, and, and, and just watch this entire video. Understand that that this level of success 
doesn't come easy. It, it, it comes from hard work. It comes it comes from doing everything that you need to do, staying focused. And that's what I want to that's what I want to relate through this video, okay? My brother my brother and I had have had many conversations. My brother and I have had many conversations about, you know, like where, like what level of success that we want to be on, where we want to be in the next couple of years and stuff like that. And when Drake dropped Tussie Slide, we stood up that entire night just talking about life goals, okay? We, we literally stood up talking about what we wanted to get done, what we wanted to accomplish in the near future, getting real, real deep, like a brother to brother conversation type thing. And honestly speaking, that was a great night. If you want to get what you want to get done, get that shit done, bro. Don't let anything stop you. Drake put 20-foot trees around his property to fit in with the neighborhood. To fit in with the neighborhood. So let me just throw some 20-foot trees around my property. The fuck? Been builder Ferris Rafali and personalized to suit Toronto's favorite son. Much of the house has not been photographed, so fans are hoping that Drake shares more photos on Instagram. Listen, Drake, I want to say thank you on behalf of, I want to say thank you on behalf of all of the young guys and girls out here working. You get what I'm saying? Videos like this, I don't take it as a flex. I take it as a, as a source of inspiration. When I look at people doing what they do on social media, when I look at people, you could, you could tell the people who are fake flexing, you could tell the people who are flexing for attention, and you could tell the people who are really out here doing this shit, okay? Drake is really out here doing this shit, okay? He's really out here doing it. He doesn't say much, but his actions speak very loud. His actions speak very loud. So look, on that note, I'm going to end it off right there. If you guys made it up to this part of the video, I want you guys to comment down below right now, success. Just comment, hit the comment section. I want you guys to comment down below, success, because we're all destined for greatness, okay? As long as you believe it, you will achieve it. Destined for greatness. So subscribe to the channel. If you are new, stay tuned to Nitrous TV for more lit content. And I'm going to catch y'all later, bro. Peace.